hello all right so very quickly in this video i'm going to share with you a story of an old man that i met that earns about two hundred thousand naira monthly that is about five hundred dollars monthly without doing anything it does nothing but constantly earns that amount i mean n-o-t-h-i-n-g and that is really amazing because everyone wants everyone really really wants to to earn money and do almost nothing or earn more and work less that is a financial goal for everyone i mean if that's not for you it's please for me because I, I do not want your 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 as far as money goes your input shouldn't always equal your output else you're gonna work 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 all your life so if 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 you have that financial it, it's, it's an important principle as financial as far as financial literacy goes right so this story is targeted at helping you achieve one of that I don't know if you want to work more or you want to work less and earn anymore if that's what you desire then this story is for you and of course the, the subject matter is going to be real estate right and uh, it, it is what it is because Real estate, I think I'll talk about that towards the end, but let me tell you the story first, right? I know you're already eager to to, 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 to listen to the story. So the story is, uh, I I went to fix my car. I spent about four to five hours there. In fact, I left this one around 8 p.m. So towards, towards about 5 to 6 p.m., uh, the mechanic that was fixing my car uh, went to one thousand. In fact, he asked me to give him the one thousand naira. So he gave one thousand naira to an old man who, all the while I saw, was lying down under a mango tree. <laughs> he was lying down under a mango tree, and one thousand naira came to him. So I was asking, of course, trust me. So I was asking, um, what's up? He gave that man one thousand naira. What is it for? And he said it was for his rentage for that day. And I was like, oh. Okay, this is interesting. So, how many of you are here? I asked, and he said there are eight of them. So, eight of you pay one thousand naira to him every day, and he said, "Yep." And I was like, "Okay, now this is real estate." So, I started my calculations, and I realized that that would give for thirty days would give him around two hundred and forty k, two hundred and forty thousand naira. So, let's do a plus minus. Plus minus, let's say some persons, of course, maybe they wouldn't work on Sundays, and then some person decided to skip on ill health grounds or, or whatever. And for, 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 for some reasons, they don't come for a couple of days, and that let that goes around for all of them. So let's take away 40k from the 240,000. So let's let's agree that he has about 200,000 a month. What does he do? He doesn't sweep the place, the guys they do the sweeping. He doesn't cut the grasses, the guys cut the grasses. And what else? What else what else would be done on that land? Virtually nothing. He simply positioned himself by owning the land. I'm using the word owning. I didn't want to use the word buying because I'm not exactly sure if he inherited the land, he got it as a gift or he bought it himself, right? So he simply positioned himself. And I, I, I believe you would agree that leverage, positioning, is key in finance. So, I'd leave you to do the calculations. And draw your mind a, a, a little bit closer to the point that he simply owned the land. And by owning that land, he was sure of getting about 8000 naira every day and about 200000 about $500 every month in a year that would give him over two million naira two years four million three years six million <laughs> somebody said that is the power of real estate <laughs> and then remember remember that this is not on the sale of the property he's not selling the property he can decide to sell the property after earning over or about two million naira every year and decide to sell after 10 years or decide to sell and number one that is generational wealth that's generational money 
he could decide to leave that forever and then his children he would die like i said the man in his, is in his 80s he would die and then his sons or his children would inherit it and then continue earning that money without doing nothing without doing nothing and on the other side of it okay let's let, let me stay let me stay on the point so the point is he simply sleeps under his mango tree and that's the reason a wise man said that landlords earn money in their sleep so he lied down all the while i was there he was under the mango tree and after at the end of the day he gets about eight thousand naira. that's what real estate can do for you fine make your money in the tech business make your money in 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 in, in any industry make your money in the bank sector make your money as an employee I'm going to specifically talk about talk to employees one of these days. But make your money as an employee, make your money as whoever. I mean legally, right? But find a path, find an entry point into real estate. Because real estate has a way of helping you retain that money, helping you sustain that money. And that's the reason I, I always use the phrase real estate that, that real estate is a father of sustainable wealth. Because it helps you to sustain your wealth. You you make money. You make okay, let me say it. real estate is, is a worth creation too. It's a worth retaining to the and the worth sustaining to. It helps you to sustain the money. There's no wealthy man in the whole wide world that doesn't have direct or indirect investments in real estate. Name them. Trust me. In fact, it is the reason that uh, that Kanegi says that that over 90 percent of millionaires in the world made their money from real estate and all money made in other industries combined together and not up to what 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 has been made in real estate this is someone who made several million dollars in the steel industry and here is he telling you that all the industries combined they didn't make a lot of money as much as was made in real estate because to the estate. I don't want to name names people i don't want to name names but trust me real estate is a business you want to do and that's the entire essence of this video a short one but it has the capacity to inspire you to want to come into real estate to to inform you about the power of real estate the importance of real estate i mean just the brief importance of real estate because i could talk about the importance of real estate in bit and it to take us a longer time or, or to change your perspective the, the video will change your perspective of real estate and and trust me real estate in nigeria is a place you want to invest it, it's an industry you want to invest it's not a place like okay let me not be comparative right but, but real estate in nigeria is a place you want to invest and of course while investing invest the right way invest the right way what i should not talk about in this video i think the point has been made the point has been made and the point is Real estate can help you. You have a financial dream of working less and earning more. Real estate can make that happen for you. And the only thing I'd advise that you do is why doing it. One of these I also talk about the idea, or myself and Jeff and my, my colleague, we talk about uh, together, talk about the, the, the investment is risky phrase or the investment is risky. Real estate investment is risky mentality. But today, the point of this video. I believe has been achieved and I have not told you my name. My name actually is Raymond Dijoma and I'm a real estate entrepreneur as well as a property lawyer here in Nigeria and I serve as the managing director of Forty Limited, a real estate company registered here in Nigeria and uh, the summary of what we want to do or what we do is, is, is property management, real estate investment, uh, consultancy securities project supervision and all that relates to real estate as far as solving real estate problems getting you involved getting you into the real estate business or preventing real estate problems are concerned right and on that note i'd say bye bye and of course do it to subscribe to this video and that's if you love what you see subscribe to this video turn on your notification and share it with that friend that relation that really really needs to hear something about real estate Thank you so much and do enjoy the rest of your week. Bye-bye.